golf. It's a game that has frustrated players for centuries. It provides an odd mixture of joy and pain for everyone who picks the game up. The game of golf cannot be perfected, though many have tried. And perhaps no one got as close to perfection as Mr. Ben Hogan. Our story begins with a student and a lesson, the way the game has been passed down from generation to generation. What do you think was the secret? Well, there are many. I think it's, it's the way he used his hips. I think it's the way he took the club from the top. Uh, I think it's how he got through the ball. I think it's how he released it. I think it's how his right arm got straight. I'm trying to keep that feeling of uh, the uninterrupted motion of the sling right. that you taught me uh, and not try and steer it or just let it do what it does. Right. And then I make my adjustments from the ball flight. Yeah, uh, here's how you practice that. So to really get the work around, what you do is, so what you were doing was still doing that too much. So mm -hmm. what you want to do is, you want to just go here and do this as hard as you can. Now, what you do is, see how, see how low I keep my foot? And, and the thing that's great about this is how close it wants to stay, because you're never going to have, a, not going to have that instinct, right? This wants to stay here, and then when we go through, you, you, you know, if, if you started throwing it, you go, well, that feels pretty silly. Why would I do such a thing as that? But you can pull it, right? There's no pull in the sling. I believe the most important golfer that ever lived was, without question, Mr. Hogan. Because we, he just he gave us so much. And there's, uh, obviously there's, there's people that is, are in his league, but I, I, to me and what he did and... Uh, the precision that he had was unlike no other. Turn your wrists off, turn your arms off, get your hips through. What was that like? Boom! He wrote Power Golf in 1948. The pictures in Power Golf are the best pictures in golf instruction. And then the Five Lessons was a series of articles in, in Sports Illustrated that eventually evolved into a book. Hit the bag, hit it halfway off the bag, hit Mr. Hogan right in the hoist. So see this? So where do you think Hogan will be? Uh, not sure. Okay, good answer. Stand right there. Here's where he'd be. Here's where you were, slightly past your leg. He was right here, inside of his left eye. So he hasn't thrown it away. No, he's still pulling it. Hogan's like this when he hits it, like remarkably on his chest when he hits it. In the next frame, you go, okay, he's going to lose it. No. He actually has it on more because, like you said, we're going now, we're going around in a circle, and this is inert, and I'm turning against it. I'm not using it at all. I'm not using my arm at all. Yeah. Right? So now then, that gets to, now we get to shoot. That's, that's what gets shot, not, not this. What I think he did was he applied physics better than everybody else. Well, have you ever been to Texas? Just passing through. That would be a godsend for everybody that's, that's uh, Hogan interested. Hey guys, that is the opening of my film, Mr. Hogan. I'm so very proud of it. And if you want to see the whole thing, you can go to myswingevolution.com where I've got the movie and a bunch of other great videos that I make. Now, I've got some really big announcements coming up. I hope that next week is going to be the time when I can tell you about uh, some of the things that I've had brewing for many months. But I'm very, very excited about 2018, and I hope that you are too, because we're all going to hit them long, and we're going to hit them straight. Mm -hmm.